Radim73 here, and welcome back to a second episode of Airport Sim. Uh, we're going to continue on with the tutorials because they're kind of the most interesting thing right now. I was actually doing some of the scenarios and found them to be um, lacking. Uh, I, I will go, I will say right now that um, the whole follow me thing, having the planes, you know, driving out to a plane and having it follow you back. In every scenario that I played, whenever a plane landed and pulled off the runway, I had to go get it with a truck. And that rarely happens in the commercial aviation world. Um, but anyway, if you like the videos, you know, be sure to leave a like, um, leave comments, let me know what you think of this game. And, you know, if I'm doing something right or wrong or whether you agree or disagree with me on something, let me know. And if you haven't already, please subscribe for this and many more videos. Also, if you want to pick up this game or if you just want more information, um, I've got a link down in the video description. It, it is a referral link. Um, so if you do buy the game, it kind of lets the company know that I am promoting the game, I guess. But I'm not getting paid for this or anything like that, though they did send me a free key. So I wanted to uh, get that out of the way. Um, I bought the Goldhofer Bison D1000. I don't know why I sang it like that. Um, did I get the stairs job? You will now learn how to operate the passenger stairs. Yes. Generally, there are two common ways to disembark an aircraft, via jetway or stairs. There should be a passenger stairs vehicle nearby. Walk See, now the plane's coming in normally there right now, but it's a there scenario. Today, we will show you how to operate the passenger stairs vehicle. As you can see, it's equipped with a movable stairs platform that can move up and down to adjust to the different door heights of various aircraft types. This solution is used at airport parking stands where a jetway may not be present, or at the rear of an aircraft where a jetway can't reach. The vehicle is located near the terminal in the parking area. I know. Get into it. So, in the last episode, we I had some trouble lining this thing up. And it's, it's actually, you know, I think it's a couple things. I think that the uh, developer needs to kind of go back through and rethink how they do this tutorial it is confusing there's a lot of people that are complaining about it on the steam forums um one of the things is is i really think that they need to leave the controls on the screen for both keyboard and controller now i'm using a controller right now we're going to enter and there's the controls so left and right bumper lower and raise the stairs and b confirms the connection between the stairs and the plane right no matter what type of aircraft it is you will always approach the stairs from the left side right now that you're in place you need to slowly move closer to the aircraft door to make it easier for you switch the camera to the outside view using the button displayed on the screen okay i think i have things turned on so if we go to the outside the two bumpers raise and lower the stairs so i'm holding down the right bumper that raises that up really high left bumper brings it down and then obviously you don't want your stair to not be level. So we're gonna bring it up to right about here because I've, I've found that that's really the ideal height. And I guess we'll just go ahead and pull up here and we'll wait for the game to say Aircraft's door 
to deploy the vehicle's standing supports and to raise the stairs platform if necessary. When the light illuminates... Okay, so, so now the green thing is blinking. ...in place and secured. This indicates that you can continue up the stairs and safely open the door. And you can actually see it up here, too. Now you can see we're also kind of at an angle, and if we wanted to, we could actually back up and and um, line it up a little bit better. If you really want to be overly zealous, let's say. <laughs> um, here's another thing: it says hit Y for the supports, or it says hit up arrow to lower the supports. Now, if I hit up arrow on the D-pad, nothing happens. If I hit the Y button on the controller, it, you know, the supports do come down. Um, also, it tells you to hit down to confirm the connection. Obviously, with flight deck or ground crew, that's not going to happen. So that is also wrong. You have to hit the B key if you're using an Xbox controller, the red the red button. But yeah, there's no so so the the tutorial is actually wrong. Um, and that needs to be fixed. So now that we've got that down, um, I can get out and we have to open the aircraft door, so we just go up here, open it. Open, pull the left and right barriers into place to secure the safe passage of crew and passengers by preventing... And so you just hold the right trigger down, or right, yeah, right trigger, and then drag it. Oh. Like that. And then like that. Right. See you in the next tutorial. We'll see you then. <laughs> um, also, let me know what you guys thought of the little um, uh, time lapse I did at the end of the last episode. I thought it was pretty cool. Um, and it actually shows you how good the clouds in this game look. I mean, it's not the graphics aren't the best, but the clouds look great. Um, I was really surprised. Whoa, what's going on in there? Don't need to get catering service again at the destination airport. <laughs> I don't know what that was about. You'll find information on which aircraft you need to service and where. Oh, Berlin, Brandenburg. I've been there. That we're going to serve. We see that the aircraft we'll be servicing is parked at gate 9. And Berlin Teagle. So deliver meals to plane at stand number nine. Um, I'm going to assume it's probably that plane right there because I don't see any other planes. Your task now is to connect the catering truck to the aircraft. It looks very similar to operating stairs, only instead of passengers, we load food. Drive under the right rear door and stop. Okay, so we're going to get in the road here. See, okay, so in, in this tutorial, in the lower left corner, you can see that our controls are there. So they need to be, they, but they're really tiny. I'm, I'm running a 2560 by 1440 monitor, so obviously they're not scaling up 
Um, so they are small, but I can read them. That's not really a, too much of a problem. Um, Berlin seems a little bit flatter than this, though. There are some hills around the area. Okay, so right here. The other thing, too, here is you want to kind of do it a little offset again. Eh. So I came in at a little bit of a angle. And just like there we the go. A flashing green light means you can confirm the connection to the aircraft. And a steady green light means the connection has been made. To confirm the connection, press the button. Okay, I think I pressed B button. And just like with the stairs, a flash to confirm Quiet. the connection. I did. Now, for some reason, the stairs. Like with the stairs, a flashing green light means you can to confirm the connection. Quiet. No, I can't do that. Yeah, lift up container. I'm holding my right bumper and it's not doing anything. Hold Y to open controls pop up. Okay, oh, well that's what I'm doing. Uh, let's try, okay, so here's the error rows on the keyboard. So, there's my, I, I just use the arrows on my keyboard. It worked fine. It does not work with the controller. Great. Now I can, member will take care of and I did hit the red B button on the controller though, and that allowed it to confirm it. So there was a guy in there the whole time. No wonder it was bouncing around. Uh. Does it? Um, whoops, let's go back in. So he's 33%. We don't have anything to do. This will be a pretty easy scenario. I think this might be the last load of food. Okay. To disconnect the vehicle from the aircraft, press the then Just like lift that. The container to the base position using now I can't I am using the left bumper now, now so the supports using the displayed button. Oh. Those are the little Great. footies. You have just completed the process of replenishing food and supplies on an aircraft using a catering truck. Yay! Goodbye. All right. So that one was pretty easy based on what we, you know, figured out in the last episode. It is a little buggy, and so that needs to be fixed, I think. Um, okay, so next up is going to be the shuttle bus. There's our tanker truck. Hi. In this tutorial, you'll be Hi. transporting passengers to Hi. and from an aircraft as an airport shuttle bus. It's driver. so British. Hi. Oh, uh, I think I have to get. Let's get to work. I have to get this guy out, don't I? Tutorial, you learned how to attach stairs to an aircraft. I did. We will use your skills to prepare for skills. So, get in the passenger stairs vehicle and connect them to the 
plane at the location indicated on your tablet. Okay, so again, let's get this prepared. I want to go up so that it's level, but not extending like that. So I'm going to bring it down until it stops. Bam, right there. I did, so didn't now, I? We use your to for Isn't that what he just said? Oh, okay, right here. So I can see, if you look really closely at the dashboard, I can see the green button. So we're going to hit Y to put the footers down, and I'm going to hit X. Or not. Can I attach stairs to aircraft? Uh-oh. Did I shut it off? Um, I may have already confirmed. Oh, I did. Okay. You can't open the door if you haven't confirmed the connection. So I must have done that and didn't really realize it. The door has to be all the way open and then you can drag these in so that your passengers don't Great. fall th Let's to their doom. The I now do. We can take care of the disembarkation process. Get behind the wheel of the bus and we'll get to work. Drive the bus to the aircraft where you just attach the stairs. But before you do that, we'll teach you how to read the information on your tablet that you need for this task. Okay. You'll find it operations tab under flight number X-ray Yankee Zulu 1234. As you can see, you need to pick up passengers from the aircraft parked at stand 10 and take them to gate 1. Cautiously approach the aircraft and park the bus in the indicated area opposite the stairs. Right. Ensure you park so that the right side of your bus is facing the stairs. Right. Okay, I think we're turned on here, right? No? There we go. Now we're turned on. I did it, I did it. Great. The passengers will be deplaning in just a moment. Wait until all passengers have safely boarded the bus and then close the doors using the button displayed on screen. Once everything is ready, the route in your tablet will be updated and will lead you to the gate where the passengers will disembark. Okay. So now, if we go inside the bus... We can look at our, our terminal. We can actually see how many people are aboard. And we've got 55. And, you know, every time somebody gets in, obviously that goes up a little bit. And we can just sit here and watch them get on board. <clears throat> One thing that does bug me about this is everybody gets into the front. And then just, like, people start magically appearing throughout the bus. Oh, and I can't get out of the bus right now. Okay, so there's the last person. Okay, now carefully transport the passengers to the terminal at gate number one. Follow the path marked 
Oh. Oh. I don't think it matters, because obviously the less left hand. Wait, where's she going? Security breach! Security breach! Great. Since we're also picking up passengers for the next flight, don't close the doors to the bus. As soon as all the passengers have left the bus, the next ones will begin boarding. Oh, will they now? Where did the uh, Where did that other passenger go? Did she just? Walk through the wall. Hey, the twins. Do 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 do. do. <laughs> so I think we just stay stay here, and then we do more passengers get on. Wait for the passengers to exit. Yeah. See, I think all these passengers go away. You can see them walking into the terminal there. I guess. Okay. Now, okay, now I see some people walking around. There's some guy that's walking down the hall. I don't know where he thinks he's going. Obviously, he's not going to El Salvador. So how many people do we need to get for this one? 59 22 23 24 25 26 so it's about every 1 second or so Do, 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 do. It's like all the same people that got off are getting back on again. <laughs> it's like, hey, I've seen you. I've seen that girl. I've seen that guy. There's no GPS route here. Once you've arrived back, just like before, park next to the stairs with the right side facing them. I don't think there's any... I don't think anything happens if you drive too fast with the passengers. I could be wrong. Maybe it's just because this is a... Tutorial, nothing bad happens. Then open the doors of the bus so that passengers can board. I feel like I should walk or drive up closer to the bus. So I guess that's not going to increase the speed at which they get off. I 
I've only had to do... I've flown quite a bit, and I would say 90% of the flights that I have ever been on, I've gotten off directly onto a jetway. I'm trying to think of when we didn't have to do that. There were some small planes that I flew on where we had to... You know, they took us out in a bus. <clears throat> or you just walked out of the door and went up some stairs and you were in it. I'm trying to figure out where I want to park the bus once I'm done with it. Because we don't want it this close to the plane. Is that a Boeing? Yeah, that's a Boeing 737 MAX. Great. Now all that's left is to close the doors, remove the stairs, and park the bus back in the parking spot where we started. So I guess we have to park the bus over by the terminal somewhere. I don't really remember where it was. Why can't I get out? Are you kidding? Apparently parking the bus near the terminal means pull it up a little bit. What? Wait, did that appear there before? Was I, and I was just not paying attention or what? Because I'll tell you right now, that is not near the terminal. Congratulations. You have completed the tutorial on transporting passengers to and from an aircraft. See you again. Oh, I thought... Okay. I thought... I thought wrong. Uh, let's see here. Let's do a few more of these. So that was the shuttle bus. Oh, this one's a nightmare. Believe me, this one will be unfun. Ah, sorry. In today's tutorial, you will learn how to operate a terminal passenger jetway, also known as a jet bridge or air bridge. Jetways are mobile structures that are permanently attached to the terminal building on one side and connect to the aircraft on the other side to create a bridge for passengers to move from the terminal to the aircraft safely. Right. Jetways are the most popular means of transport for passengers at large and medium airports. Without further ado, climb the stairs to the jetway. Okay. Jet is coming in. Now let's talk about the construction and how it moves. Okay. Most jetways are divided into three parts. The bridge connects the remaining part of the jetway to the terminal which always ends in a support structure. The telescopic bridge extends or retracts depending on the operator's needs. Finally, the rotunda, which allows for adjustment by rotating around its circumference. Below is a mechanism that raises the entire bridge, and at ground level, there are wheels that move the rotunda and telescopic parts. 
And that's basically, those wheels at the bottom are basically what we're going to be <clears throat> needing to use to drive this thing. And it's kind of just like a two-wheeled car. Now, let's discuss the controls. Okay. On the panel, you'll see a screen that displays the Jetway's wheels. They show the relative rotation of the wheels in relation to the rotunda. So, WASD... That actually might be easier if you're on a key, you know, if you've got mouse and keyboard, if you're not on a controller. Um, otherwise, your left stick pushes the, it like extends and retracts the jetway. And then I think the right trigger turn the wheels, but we'll check that out here. We, I don't have control yet. Control the rotation and forward and backward movement of the wheels. Yeah. The controls displayed on screen. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so even though we can rotate the wheels to cuz right now I think they're put they're going straight forward, we can actually rotate them so that we can essentially drive the jetway into the side of the plane. Um the bumpers to change the height of the cabin. Rotate this R. Okay, so that's right stick. Okay. Now you understand how to move the jetway. <laughs> so let's move on to docking it to an aircraft. The door next to you must be aligned with the aircraft door. Remember to be careful around the aircraft to avoid damaging it. As with stairs, when you are properly positioned, a green light will start flashing indicating that you can extend the canopy to the aircraft. Okay. Okay, so right now we can't... I can see that everything moving. So we can go up and down. Now, the, the thing we can't do in this view is move our head, which is really annoying. And also, if I hit the control to go ex like external view, it brings this up. But if I hit... It again, nothing happens. So I have to hit up. So th there are some control issues that are definitely a problem, excuse me, and they need to be fixed. I can, however, hit V on my keyboard and I can go external like this, but then I can't, um, I can't rotate the view at all. Now we can rotate this. Yeah, shut up. We're going to hear this a million times because the left bumper is the remind us of the... It's basically like remind us what to do. Um, another thing that's very difficult to see um, are the are the wheels. And I can if you can see them down there rotating, um, I'm using my left and right trigger, okay? So I think starting off, we're going to be a little bit short. Let's go in, back into the cab here. Um, but there's also an indicator. It kind of looks like an eye. And you can see it rotating there in the center of the panel. So what, what we're going to do is we're going to push forward. Also, I want to go down quite a bit. But we're going to push forward on this. And actually, I'm going to try to drive this out. A little bit. Okay. To connect to the there we go. So we're, we'll hit the B key on the controller, or you can hit the enter key on the keyboard. It doesn't matter. And there we go. So it's opening the door and ex extending kind of like the little skirt over the top of the jetway. That way, if it's raining, things like that, um, be good. All right. 
For tutorial purposes, we'll skip this step and go straight to disconnecting from the aircraft. Okay. After all the passengers have boarded or disembarked, the crew will close the doors. Then, to retract the canopy, press the button displayed on screen. So it says the A button or enter. So I'm going to hit A. Okay, now we would just drive this guy away from the jetway. However, I think we have to be inside this little glowing circle down here. So um, at least for the tutorial, for the scenarios, we don't really need to do that. The A is still flashing on screen and um, we don't... Now switch the camera using the button display <laughs> Oh, see, now it's... Operation, the jetway must always return. Guide the jetway so that the wheels are in this area. Great. Yep. You have just learned how to operate a terminal passenger jetway. D ignore that little on-screen thing Remember a moment ago. Remember, take some time for all passengers to board. You don't say. During this time, you can perform other tasks around the aircraft. See you later. See ya. All right. Back to the tutorial menu. We probably have time to do one more, and I think the next one's gonna be a little longer. Shuttle bus, jetway, and luggage. In this tutorial, you'll learn how to service the luggage holds on a 737 MAX 8 aircraft. To perform this task, You'll need a vehicle with a loading belt, a tug, and luggage cards attached to the tug. Firstly, prepare for luggage collection by opening the right forward and rear cargo doors in advance. I want to get into the tug. I wonder if I run up to the jet engine, I wonder if it'll suck me in. Be like, you have dialed. Okay. So wheel chocks are out. You can just go up and hit X. You can see it opening. Great. Next, you need to position the luggage loader at the rear cargo hold. But before we start, remember to always unload the aircraft starting from the rear of the plane. Why? The center of gravity of every aircraft is generally concentrated between the front and rear wheels as much as possible. To avoid a sudden weight imbalance potentially causing the aircraft to tip back onto its tail, you must first unload the rear hold so that the front of the plane is more heavily loaded than the rear. I, I, I've never heard of that happening. Tail, strike. tail strikes typically happen on landing, not while you're like on the ground. I mean, you'd have to have something really heavy in the back for that to happen. Really heavy. I've never heard of that happening on the ground. Okay. Now this one works a little bit better. I can just raise and lower this with the bumpers. I'll stop in the indicated zone. We just line the... Right. Now your task is to adjust the height of the conveyor belt so that it is just below the door threshold. This will make it easier for you to enter the luggage hold. Oh, will it do? You? Do this using the buttons displayed on the screen. Next, carefully drive up to the luggage hold. Don't hit the plane with any force during this process. The lip of the conveyor belt only needs to be just near the lower That's edge of the That's plane. really right where it needs to be. Okay. Right. Now we need to drive the tug and carts behind the load. And what I'll do is I'll just activate the belt right now. now Doesn't really matter. To, the tug. to do this, position the rear tow hitch of the tug 
with the hook of the card. Then exit and follow the action prompts displayed on the screen to attach them. Okay, start her up. Now it tells us which one we have to connect. Now we could do this just with one cart or two. Connecting two carts is more difficult because these are the double articulated trailers. Remember, you can attach several carts together. The question is whether the tug has enough power to tow them and whether you have enough skill to attach them together. Yeah, when they're double articulated trailers, they can be extremely difficult to figure out. See, they, they just get off, you know, they get kind of cockeyed like that. And um, it makes it really difficult to connect. So what I would recommend doing is driving right up past the uh, the connector here. And it's going to be kind of hard to see, but right when you're about there, you should be able to get out, drag, oh, right trigger. So we can actually drag these. Wait, why won't it turn? Oh, there we go. Remember, you can attach several cards together. The question is whether the tug has enough power to tow them and whether you have enough skill to attach them together. Okay, there we've attached now, them. The tug with the cart behind the loader, yes, shut up, you bloody blah 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 blah. blah. I'm totally not supposed to do this, but going to break in the law, break in the law. The luggage hold and manually load the bags onto the conveyor belt and then onto the cart. Now we're going to do this with um, mouse and keyboard. Crouch. crouch, 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 crouch. F. Hit F. <laughs> For fail. You can also just hit F and then left click on the keyboard. I did, I think you know some of the um, controls need to be re-examined or streamlined because um, they can be a bit confusing. All right, so I'm going to drive him out here. I'm going to go ahead. Move this to the other, um, can I close this? Nope, not yet. We'll move this one to the front. Okay, we'll run over here. Uh, squat, yep. Or not? <laughs> Squat or not? Wait, what's the squat button? I know what it is on the keyboard or map or. Uh oh, I gotta go down. I gotta move this down.
There we go. I, you know, of all the things that I thought would be super janky, I thought that these conveyor belts would be super janky. They're really not. And transfer them to the belt that will direct them to the terminal. Okay. So now we have to take these guys um, in to, I guess, where they'll, where they'll go be delivered or scanned or whatever and delivered to the... Uh, the customer, the the passengers. Okay, the button is right there. There they go. Uh, now we can open this. This makes this process a little bit easier. And then we can just close that up. Look at that. Look at that. The, the belts work really good. I even like the little fl floppy things. Okay. Great. Now we will deal with loading luggage onto the aircraft. Oh, this is fun. It's collected from the luggage sorting area through the appropriate slides, where it is automatically sorted by the system to make our work easier. Open the tablet and go to the operations list, then select Flight Mike Sierra 3214 in the departure section to check the box number where you will collect incoming luggage. As you can see, the suitcases will be delivered to the box indicated on the tablet. C01? And wait for the luggage. Wait for bags and luggage room, okay. So yeah, right there. So you want to follow these arrows. I mean, I guess you don't have to since you're the only one in here. You can see the luggage coming down the chutes. So it literally says load collected luggage to the rear cargo hold and front, well, front cargo hold and rear. So these might go to the rear. I don't know. Now, baggage is typically weighed, and I would assume that um, it might make a difference depending on how much bags weigh. You know, heavier bags might need to go in the front. It's just hard to... Well, I don't know. I don't know how they do those things. Okay. Now, just like when unloading luggage... Luggage loader to load the luggage. 
Place it under the front cargo doors and adjust the tape to the correct height. Remember Change the direction of the belt. And neatly arrange the suitcases inside the cargo hold. Neatly, huh? Oh, that's how you, <clears throat> that's how you throw things. <laughs> uh oh. Okay, here we go. Uh oh. Uh oh. It did say neatly. Okay. So I think we can actually stop crouching. Maybe I should have used both of these little belt things. I don't know. I don't know if it matters. Belt is moving. Uh oh. Perfect close. <laughs> uh. So I'm just going to drive this guy, I guess, back over to where he needs to go. Oh, quiet. The correct height. Remember to start the tape to move the suitcase. As a final step, transport all. You'll have to enter and neatly arrange the suitcases inside the car. Yeah. Hole. See, there, there's some bugs here where the, uh, let's see, remove vehicles from air, aircraft vicinity. Yep. No problem. Oh, I'm crouched. Yeah, so they, they need to work on that a little bit. It it adds some confusion. <clears throat> which I personally find super annoying. We can just drive this over here. Great. Now you know how to unload and load luggage on a 737 MAX aircraft. See you later. See you. Now, we have... We have that tutorial. So we've got, oh, luggage on the 737, and then we can do luggage on the A320. 
But I think we'll do that in the next episode if I do one. Um, let me know in the uh, video or in the comments section uh, whether you want me to keep going with Airport Sim. I kind of enjoy it. It's okay. It's all right. Um, I don't know. I'm not sure if it's worth the thirty four ninety nine, which is kind of steep for a airport sim. But I don't know. Maybe they'll do sales and things like that. Just you know, add it to your wish list. One of those things. I'm sure. Like coming up here in November, uh, like Black Friday, there's going to be probably be tons of sales. Um, so this might be one of them. I don't know. But uh, this has been Airport Sim. If you want to check it out, use my referral link down in the video description. That'll take you to the Steam page where you can get all the info and uh, pick up a copy if you want. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Bradham73, and I will see you next time. Bye for now.